Tell me, Livingston, if you were to awake one morning to discover that you were the last man on Earth, what would be the first item on your itinerary? I would celebrate. And you, Tangela? Oh, most noble. She would feed all the puppies and kitty cats that were being neglected. Especially if she had been the one who orchestrated said extinction-level catastrophe. Do seize her chemistry kit at the first most opportune moment. Welcome to Creature Features, a follicle challenge bloke over here who's ready to party like it's 1999 is my endearingly peevish butler, Mr. Livingston. The bonny young lass and saviour of forgotten pets would be the lovely and capricious Tangella, and I, dear viewer, am your host of Ghosts and Other Chilling Phenomena, Vincent Van Dahl. Do we have a fabulous program in store for you tonight? Headmost on our schedule shall be the 1964 Vincent Price classic, The Last Man on Earth. We've already shown that one. Well, no shrimp, Sherlock, but we shall present the cinematic gem once again due to the fact that our special guest has specifically requisitioned it. Joining us again will be my old friend Zetro, singer for the heavy metal troupe Exodus, and Sean Tour of the theme song for this very program. He'll tell us what he's been into for the past year since he last graced our guest seat, regale us with tales from the tour bus, and no doubt offer his observations and insights to tonight's classic movie. And no doubt toss the television out the window as he so skillfully did last time. One can only hope. So don't go away, because it's going to be another night of rock-elliptic fright, right here on Creature Features! Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. It is that time of the week. You know what it is. Creature feature time. Right, Zetra? It's creature feature time. And we've got Zetra with us. Again, it's the second time he's graced yes. our guest chair. Thanks this for having me back. Amazing. No, we love having you here. We're going to watch The Last Man on Earth. One of my favorite movies. It's a, it's a wonderful movie. I want to get your take on this. But first, in case you don't know who Zetro is, he sings for this band called Exodus. I want to know how you came up with that name, but I'm not going to ask you now. And he, he, he also sings the opening theme of the show. We'll coincidentally. Talk about that. It's coincidental. Sure. So uh, anyways, this movie we're going to watch tonight. What do you like so much about it? Um, one of my favorite Vincent Price movies, anything Vincent Price does, I love. Right. But this one is, um, if anybody's seen I Am Legend or The Omega Man, right. this is the very first one to that. And, and, and just an amazing acting performance by Vincent Price. It's based on a story by Philip K. Dick or something. Who, who did that story? I don't know. Livingston usually knows this stuff. Not for sure. Richard Not Matheson. Richard Matheson. Right. Our director knows these things. So uh, you like this film. And it was filmed in like Italy or something, right? Yeah, you could tell because all of the credits are all right. Italian names Italian and stuff names. like that. But right. uh, great film. This it's is great. So this, is, this is the ultimate creature feature movie, I think. All right. Well, let's get started with this film, and when we come back, we're going we're gonna to hear about your last tour. Right? Yeah. All right. 
Off we go to the last man on earth. You guys stay with us. December 1965. Is that all it has been since I inherited the world? Only three years. It seems like a hundred million. Every day there are more of them. They live off the weak ones and leave them for the pit.
KOKW calling. Come in. KOKW calling. I'm on international frequency. Come in. Pleasurable. Now it bores me. Just fuel for survival. I'll settle for coffee and orange juice this morning. But first, there's my life transitor. I'd better replace that garlic. I'll need more, lots more. Better stop off and get him. I can't afford the luxury of anger. Anger can make me vulnerable. It can destroy my reason, and reason's the only advantage I have over them. I've got to find where they hide during the day. Uncover every one of them. Now, where did I finish off yesterday? Madison Street to 31st Avenue. 11 kills. Over three years. And there's more than half the city I haven't searched. apart so their body seal can't function. And how many more of these will I have to make before they're all destroyed? They want my blood, if their lives are mine. And I still get squeamish. Wait, that garlic. I'd better put it back where it belongs. I can't live a heartbeat away from hell and forget it. stop I'll have to make.
Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Hello, I'm Vincent, this is Tangella, and we just want to remind you we've got a wonderful website. It's at creaturefeatures.tv, and at that location we've got things like previous episodes, our merchandise, we've got photographs of the entire gang, including Tangella and her hideous friend. So be sure to come see our site. You'll love it. Welcome back to the show. We are still watching The Last Man on Earth with Steve Zetro Souza. You don't mind if I just call you Zetro, do you? No, I don't mind. You know, that's it's so much simpler to say and to recall a name like that. So anyways, on this movie, um, if you were the last man on Earth, would you be like driving around doing this nonsense? I think to keep saying you have to. Because oh. remember, he's the last guy on Earth. So you have well, to... He's not really, though. I mean, he's the last normal man on okay earth. that's but what this film should be called the last normal man on earth but he doesn't have anybody to like bounce anything off of he's the mm. only like real human left and so i guess to keep saying you have to find a routine to do every day bounce things off of he could bounce baseball bats off of those zombie people i think he does helpful. doesn't he yeah hopefully eventually all right, well, we're going to get back to this film in a moment, but let's talk more about you. So for those of you who missed last time and uh, my explanation prior, Steve Zetro is the singer for Exodus. And that's like, that band has been around as long as like the Rolling Stones, right? We're um, 40 years this year as, as a band. He is old. 85, the first record came out. So yeah, no spring chickens here. Vincent. Well, you know, I, I would think the, the, the record company would give you some kind of honor, like a s statue or something. Saying well, that. we got into the Heavy Metal Hall of Fame last year, 2018. You're a Hall of Famer. Yeah, I am a Hall of Famer. A Hall of so. Famer, right here on Creature Feature. Heavy Metal has their own Hall of Fame because actually the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame doesn't really pay attention oh, to our music right, all that right. well, especially the heavy bands. Right. So um, they have created our own hall. There's act no actual place but uh, every year there's a big um, celebration about it and there's a huge plaques everywhere for all the inductees from every year. And uh, Exodus was inducted in 2018. Fabulous, and you just came back from a small tour, right? We were in South America, South where they are America. crazy. Which countries? Uh, we were in uh, Brazil, Chile, and Peru. You know, I've heard Brazil is quite a fun place. It is very fun, right. it is very, very fun. Uh, anywhere, to me, once you get down in the South Americas, they're all really fun. Now, did you go to the place with like the big rock and the in the large Jesus statue? That's in Rio. Rio. That's in Rio. Yeah. You did not That's, go to I've Rio. been there before, though. I've been up and I've actually been to the statue before. Yeah, I would love to see that. It must yeah, it's be actually like, cool. It's bigger than the Statue of Liberty, right? Yes, it is. Wow. It's really, it's really way up there, and you can see it as you're flying into Rio. You see it from the airplane. How beautiful. It's really cool. See, well, the next time now, we're down there, you can come. I want to. I'm going to. But see, if you if you like study hard and learn to play guitar, you could travel the world like Zetro, right? Or Prince of Darkness, or like me. Vince. Right, right. How I used to. I don't anymore. You know, I can't travel anymore. Why? Because all this all this cavity search they do when you get on, on the plane. I, I'd have to fly private. You and still could get possibly get cavity searched, oh, even driving oh, private. All right, all right. This is going down a dirt road I do not wish to discuss. Let's say we get back to the film. Cool. Right? Yep. All right, off we go. Back to Last Man on Earth. You guys stay with us. I can get rid of them later. Right now, I'm out of gas.
and still fresh. But I'll take only what I need. They've got to last. I've got my life to worry about. Those mirrors have to be replaced before dark. search. time left. It'll be dark in an hour. before the sun will rise and drive them back to darkness.
styling for the show was provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. Welcome back. Uh, Steve stepped away because he got a special gift from the director. Did you see that? I did. He, he's he got an actual cigar from Bob Wilkins. We're going to see that when he comes back. But first, we've got to do that thing called letters. Right, Livingston? Right. Right. All right, let's do it. How are you, Tangela? New Jersey. Well, she's so quiet today. What's going on? She has babies. No, well, I think you'd, you, you were not cross with her, were you? Not yet. Not yet. All right. All right, let's read some mail. First one is from Scott D. And he put... Scott Evil in parentheses. I wonder what that means. In Saddlebrook, New Jersey. That sounds like a lovely place. I'd like to visit Saddlebrook, New Jersey one day. All right, dear Creature Features, found you guys on YouTube. I'm a huge fan. Well, thank you. And a lover of all Creature Features shows back in 1974 and on. I remember a lot of the B-movie networks that tried to get it, but always came short. I like your interviews. Tangella is awesome. Mr. Livingston rocks also. Bob would be very proud of the way you carry on the tradition and stay true to the way you do, which is to say, your way. Keep up the good work, Vincent. You, Tangelo, and Mr. Livingston, stay cool as always and keep rocking on. Well, thank you, Scott, but you know, it's 100 degrees here today, so we're dying. We will not be keeping cool today, but we'll try. Thanks for writing. We have a Next package. Next up is a package. From New York. From New York. Wait, you tell me there's no letter? There's no letter. It's a surprise package. Evidently. You made sure there's no explosives or anything in here. We've got to keep I've those away from her. I've tested it. You know, Walmart will no longer sell her gunpowder. She has to roll her own. All right, this is from Lewis Michael in Champlain, New York. That place sounds lovely. Near Champagne. Canada. That explains itself. I don't know. All right. No letter, but thank you for what we imagine is a gift. And for let's find out what it is. I bet it's something for you. I rather doubt it. Oh, no, it's definitely not for you. This is lovely. Look at this. I wonder who this is for. It must be for you. It looks like, it looks like you. It's got nice fuzzy hair. Thank you so much, sir. All right. What do we got next? And our last one from Oklahoma. Last letter is always the best letter, right, Livingston? Indeed. No. All right. This one is from Ruth Kramer in Norman, Oklahoma. I've been there. I've been to Norman, Oklahoma. It, there was a small venue we toured at. It was a oh, quick, with the band. Quick stop. Of course, with the band. Do you think I went there for tea? All right. She goes, Dear Creature Features, I watch your show every Saturday night and enjoy it so much that I've decided to rename my three pet cats after you. That's nice. I have a male Persian that is temperamental and always complaining like Livingston, so I've renamed him Mr. Stuffy Pants. I also have a Maine Coon who's always dazed and confused like Vincent, so I'm going to name him Dopey. Well, I'm not always dazed and confused. I'm dazed and confused by this letter. And lastly, I have an adorable American rag doll that I'm going to name Tangella. Well, you missed the bullet on this one. She's only saving the insults for Livingston and I. Thanks again for writing, Ruth. All right, that's the last letter. That's the last one. Last letter. All right, if you would like to send us a letter or a package, send the email to this address you see appearing here. Or if you'd like to send the package, send it to this address you see appearing here. Both will get to us in a timely fashion, right? Depends. Right. All right, we're going to get right back to the last man on earth. But when we come back, we're going to take a look at Zetro's new cigar. You guys stay with us. Another day, 
Another day to start all over again. The sun's already set. They'll be everywhere.
Hey, Verge. Verge. Yes? Oh, no. My makeup. My hair. Hey, where is everybody? All I can see Hi, is... Hi, oh. I can hear children, but I can't see any children. Uncle Ben! Uncle Ben! Hey, look at all those children. Ben, Uncle Ben! Uncle ben. <laughs> Open them and see. Open them and oh. see. Come, come. Take a look at this. It's highly theoretical, Ben. Theoretical? Do I have to remind you that theory is a beginning of solution? Is Europe's disease carried on the wind? Is it, Ben? Could be. And if it is? It isn't, Verge. Is that what you really think, or just what you'd like to think? I, I cannot accept half-baked theories that sell newspapers. I'm, I'm a scientist, not an alarmist. You're whistling past the graveyard. Is that a commentary on my work at the lab? We both know how hard you've worked. I'm sorry, Ben. I just can't accept the idea of universal disease. Uncle Ben, you promised your cartridge. All right, Kathy. Who can resist that face? All right, card tricks, card tricks. Robert, is it possible this germ or virus could be airborne? Anything is possible, Verge. The best brains in the world have been running through this thing with a fine-tooth comb. The germ is visible under a microscope, but it's not like any bacilli ever known. In what way? It can't be destroyed by any process we've been able to uncover. But with the whole world trying, there must be a solution. Hey, Mommy! Hey, Mommy. When are you going to cut the cake? <laughs> right now, our problem is to cut that cake. <laughs> hey, Mommy! Hey, Mommy! Coming! Coming!
This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. I just love this film, don't you? I love this movie. You know, it was it was nicely filmed. It's very cinematic, and of course, Vincent Price. Anything he touches, I agree. Like I Hollywood agree. Squares. Well, maybe except Hollywood Squares, but everything else. Even the Brady movie. Bunch episode right. that he was in was great. That's right. I forgot about that one. Yeah. What's this? This is a gift. That from Mr. is Tom a Worsh. cigar, if I've ever seen one. And this is gold. This is the type of stuff sure, that I, I, that I've I not live seen for. This yet. So there's a name written on this cigar, Mr. Bob Wilkins. The Holy this Grail. Real, For me, and, that's and the Tom, Holy Grail. Tom, you said you only had how many of these left? Uh, three. Three. And you just gave one to Zetro. I did. Oh. I hope you put this in a place of honor. You've seen my glass case with all my stuff. I have you seen know it. it's going to be don't in the glass. Don't smoke it. I don't it's smoke cigars. Something. I won't. All right. Uh, you know that my pictures of you guys and Bob are framed in my house so See? this is another thing that goes in my glass that's, that's case a this wonderful is, addition are to you your kidding me this is, this is the holy collection. grail of creature features people a real bob wilkins cigar all right so speaking of bob wilkins you're sort of becoming something of a bob wilkins yourself cetro's toxic vaults have you seen this monstrosity it's his new it's like it's like the sunny and cheer comedy hour and something like that even better the, tell us the YouTube channel that uh, this Bay Area horror host talked me into doing, and I did he had something to do with it. He definitely. I actually, said, you know, this is easy. He could do it. He yeah, said, well, so? you actually offered up the idea, and actually the producer, Wayne Marsala, who right. I work with, has been kind of been up with me to do something like this. He's and done a wonderful job. He has you, done you a very good job, yes. Job, and, and nice. But with your lead, sir. And no. we all right. Slight inspiration. Sli That's all. Slight. And I, I would think a little bit of a little bit of a kick to to do that, a but um, it's actually going very well. And um, we got a lot. We do movie reviews. We do kind of silly stuff. We we interview different types of people that do different kind of interesting things. But a lot. I think the bread and butter is. Um, I, I'm interviewing a lot of musicians from the Bay Area Sound who had right. a lot to do with it, and um, people all over the world are really and appreciate that. Some of these people we have not heard from in some time. That's so why that it's makes really it cool. Extra special, because it's like, oh, I forgot about that band, and look, here's the singer in Zetro's Toxic Vault. It's a dungeon, right? It's like yeah. set up like a dungeon. It is a dungeon. And you've got all the what they call tchotchkes lined yes. up. I got all my little my little toys in there. It's I even have a spider that that the fans named Red Rum that hangs out as you come down. He wonderful. eats rats and cats right. and stuff like right. that as long as he leaves us alone. So name some of the more famous illuminaries you've had on the show. I've had uh, Sean Killian and Phil Demel from Violence. Right. I've had uh, Craig LaCicero and, uh, and Matt Camacho from Forbidden. I've had uh, Wadi from The Exploited. On, so I've had some really cool guests wow. come through. And you also cover other things like movies. Movie reviews. Right. Some, I see some cool TV television. Shows. Yep, I have TV shows. If I see something cool, I'll tell everybody about it. I've had a girl who makes horror soaps on. I've had a guy who makes cakes with, you know, anything you can put on it. He made, actually made me a really cool cake with right. this hand coming through, going oh, like that. Wonderful. And everything on the cake was edible. From Misery Loves Company Cakes. He's amazing Incredible. in the Bay Area. Incredible. All right, I'm getting the signal. we got to get back to the show. Cool. But uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about more fun stuff, right? I'm here. All right, off we go. Back to The Last Man on Earth. You guys stay with us.
wind wake you up? It always does. How do you feel? I'm all right. Oh, don't get up, honey. I'm not sick, Bob. I'll make you You don't breakfast. have to. I'll be all right. Go on and read your paper. All right. Oh, sweetheart, look, if you don't feel well, please go back to bed. I'm just a little tired, that's all. I wish somebody would find a vaccine. It's all we're working on at the lab, Birch. Maybe you better not send her to school today. All right. You... You think you should go to work? I have to. Oh, Bob. Bob. I'm so... Frightened. Everything's going to be all right, sweetheart. Well? The bacilli are multiplying. That kicks the bone marrow theory in the head. This specimen shows a higher white count than when I put it on the slide. Those cells are still living, Dr. Mercer, off one another. There has to be an answer. You heard that all communications are ended outside the continental limits? Yes, I heard. That leaves it in our laps. So we keep trying. Where's Cortman? Well, he should be here by now. You two stay on this virus theory until I decide it's exhausted. Right. Yes, sir? Morgan will fill you in. All right, sir. And what did the great man of science have to say today? More of the usual? Oh, he's trying, Ben, just like the rest of us. And nothing works. The streets are swarming with truckloads of bodies that they're throwing into that god-awful pit. And the dedicated Dr. Mercer goes on with his plodding, unimaginative approach. You have a better idea? Maybe. At least it involves imagination. Ben, it's as simple as this. An unknown germ is being blown around the world. It's highly contagious and it's reached plague proportions. And you don't believe some of the dead have come back? Well, let's get to work. And why are they burning the bodies? Why don't they bury them? Because it's the best known way to control the contagion, to keep the germ from spreading. That's what we've always believed at any rate. You'd prefer us to believe in vampires? If they exist, yes. There are stories being told, Bob. By people who are out of their minds with fear. Maybe. But there are too many to be just coincidental. Stories about people who have died and, and have come back. They're stories, Ben, stories. And why are the infected people always so tired in the daytime? Why can't they stand the sunlight? Why are they only seen at night? Come here. Look. I know it's dusk. Now, is this bacilli or isn't it? It doesn't alter. And this bacilli is found in the blood of every infected person, or isn't it? To show me germs is not to refute these stories, Bob. Point is, if there are vampires, they exist in spite of these germs. Come on, let's get to work. And until further notice, this station will continue its around-the-clock coverage of this national disaster. And now, 
we switch you to the state capitol, where His Excellency, the Governor, is speaking from the Executive Mansion. Further, I have, in conjunction with the federal government, declared this state to be a disaster area. The public health is dependent on bodies of the deceased being burned. You must notify the health department immediately if you have a plague victim in your home. Under no circumstances should you gather public. In view of the dire emergency that exists, I intend to... Anything new? Huh? No, nothing new. to call the doctor. I said no. Verge, there's nothing they can do. But we can't just let her lie there. Well, this way she has a chance. If you call a doctor, he'll report it. Do you want that? Mommy, help me. Mommy. Mommy, please help me. Mommy, help me. How can you be so sure she... Blindness is one of the symptoms. You're not to call a doctor under any circumstances. No one is to come into this house. Now remember that. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, where are you? I've got to pick Ben Cortman up on the way to the... the lab. No one is to come into this house. <laughs> now remember that. Who's there? It's me, Ben. We're late. Ben, what's the matter with you? Nothing, and I'm going to keep it that way. Ben, look, let's talk about this. There's nothing to talk about. You think I'm out of my mind. You laughed at me in my theory. You might be one of them. Ben, look, you're ill. You ought to see a doctor. No, doctors. You take care of your life, I'll take care of mine. Now, get away from here. You understand? Get away from here! Lauren and I have a Saturday night date every Saturday with my son Jeremy. We live in Santa Rosa, California, and we are loving your movie tonight. It's one of the best you've ever shown.
This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. You know, Steve, I've seen this movie probably 20 times. And, uh, I, you know, I, I know what's going to happen next. I don't want to tell them because that would be a spoiler. But tell us something interesting about the production of this film. Well, actually, George Romero took this as a template for Night of the Living Dead from this the movie. The George Romero. He's George Romero. For so. the Night of the Living Dead. Yes, and look what happened there. You know, I think he ended up with a better product. I think he did too, but I think if you look at uh, the vampires that are trying to get in to his house and, and are wandering around, they're kind of similar to the vo zombies you know, in Night of the Living Dead. They a seem little more bit. like zombies than yeah, they, they do, do seem actually. Like they vampires. do. Vampires, right? So, uh, well, you know, I, I think this film took more than seven days to film. It had to. You know, the one we showed last week only took seven days to film. It was like an Ed Wood production. It was, it, was, it was horrid. It was absolutely horrid. But enough about those films. I want to talk about you and what you're doing and things that you've done. So you're like a convention guy now. Yeah, now I do all these cool horror toy shows and horror conventions. Right. Last we time I saw this man was at Creatures Con. He had his own table. And he was like, you're selling things, right? What do you sell? I have my own shirts. I have CDs for sale right. from a past band. I have uh, patches, stickers, um, you know, autographed pictures, stuff like that. No, Mitch. we were at South City Comic Con together. Oh, that's right. It wasn't right. Creatures Con. No, it was South right. City right. Comic Con. Right. Now, that's a fun one, too. With our good friend, Holly. Holly Marshall. from Land of the Lost. Yes. And then all the people from um, The Warriors. And... Michael Gray, who was Billy Batson and Captain Marvel. Right, Captain Marvel. John Davey. Yeah, that was a fun show. It was a great show. No, but before that, we saw you at Creatures Con, yeah. and you were, uh, he, threw a, he threw a soiree. He threw an after party for everybody. For all, the, all my creature friends. I had, that late? I know, it wasn't that great. It we was had, wonderful. We had so, and Veronica Carlson was in my house. Veronica Carlson was in your house, and so was uh, Christy Hayden. Christy Hayden, and yes. Rick. And Rick Farmer. Oh, oh man, I love those guys. Uh, Tangella was a nuisance. Yeah, I love being, Tangella being a nuisance. And your lovely significant other made such wonderful food for us. Yes, Miss Vicky took care of Miss everyone. Vicky. And there was booze to drink and dancing. and It was wonderful, lots of fun. I remember I tripped once. Did you on what? I did. No, I, I tripped on uh, those little cement things that they place oh. around. I did not see it, and I just went. I, my, I trip a lot. It's, and it's, my pugs, too. That's why too. I'm always seated, because I trip. You got to love my pugs, too, my little the pugs. pugs. Right, what are the names? Yeah. Pumpkin Pie, Lemmy, and Dexter. Lemmy. He's Lemmy. named after uh, His e namesake, Lemmy. Motorhead. Right. That's right. right. That's absolutely fabulous, fabulous. All right, so more shows coming up soon, maybe? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You've got, uh, are you doing the Santa Rosa Comic Con? I might be on tour for, for that. Oh. If I'm not on tour, I'm definitely at Santa Rosa Comic Con. All right. That's right. You've got to, like, fight between your yeah. music life and your new... My real life. job and the stuff that's fun to do, so... Right, right. No, one pays, and I imagine one does not pay as much. As much, but it's still fun. Right. Just as fun. That's important, just like this film. Yes. We have to get back to it. All right, off we go. Back to the last man on Earth... But when we return, Zetro is going to tell us a story that's going to make us all cringe. Stay with us. If you're looking for anybody but me, forget it.
Are they all gone? That's right. Is there any hope from the latest reports? No, not yet. But believe me, Morgan, we'll find an answer. When, doctor? We need it right now. I need it. You're the only one who wasn't afraid to come here today. What's going to happen, Dr. Mercer? Is everybody in the world going to die before someone finds the answer? No, I don't think so. I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary process going on, but mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. When? I called the doctor. I had to. I told you not to call anyone. Mom, she was blind. She couldn't see. She kept reaching out her hands, groping for me. And then, all of a sudden, she was gone. And they came in. I tried to stop them. They took her. I saw a truck out there. Was that it? Was it? <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. There's nothing I can do. Let that truck through. Get out of the way. Get back, folks. Nobody's allowed out there. Please, all of you, get behind those lines. Look sharp there. Move. Move along. Make way for that truck. Make way. Hey, you, mister. Come back. Come back. Did this truck just come in from Market Street? I said, did this truck just come in from Market Street? Mister, I don't know. Hey, you don't belong in here. Get out. I said get out. I want my daughter. Mister, a lot of daughters are in there, including my own.
I won't let them put you there, Virg. I promise. I won't let them put you there. Who is it? Who's there? Kill you, Morgan. Morgan. You hear? Morgan. Morgan. Do you hear, Morgan? Morgan. Do you hear, Morgan? Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best.
If Cortman thinks he can get to me by destroying my car, his wits are getting dull. This convertible would be nice. Probably handles well. But I can't think of comfort. There was a time when I shopped for a car. Now I'm looking for a hearse. This station wagon will have to do. Search every street, every house, every alley, every inch of this town. I've got to find it. Come back. Hey, boy, where are you? Where are you, pal? Come here. Someone else is alive in this world. But where are they? Where are they hiding? How many are there? Where did they come from? Why haven't I seen them? This is Robert Morgan. If somebody can hear me, answer me. For God's sake, answer me. This is KOKW calling. KOKW calling. Answer me. Finally decided to come back. It's all right, boy. Good boy. Oh, no. Don't worry, boy. You're going to be all right. Yes, you are.
got you all cleaned up. Hmm? <laughs> You're going to feel better. I'm going to put you down here now, and you can rest. Hmm? Got you all cleaned up. There you go. Rest. You know they're out there, don't you? You poor, driven thing. Everything's going to be all right. Nobody's going to hurt you. Everything's going to be all right. All right. You're going to get better. We're going to have lots of happy times together. You'll see, everything's going to be fine. I'm not gonna hurt you, can't you understand? Wait! Wait! I'm not going to hurt you, wait! If I was one of them, you know that they can't come out until sundown. Do you want to come with me or do you want to face them? Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories.
Welcome back to Creature Features. We are still watching The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price and with Zetro. Hey, did you see that scene where he found the woman? In the background, there was a car, an automobile. I didn't notice that. There's an automobile. I He's supposed to be the last man on Earth. She's and I've woman. seen this many times. I've never noticed that. I'm going to back it up. Okay. Watch. Here we go. Right. Right, watch, watch. Look, see it? Oh my God, there See? is. What happened to the quality control here? Yeah, and I don't think they put that in IMDb. I don't think. You know. Yeah, I only notice these things if I watch a film 20 times. If I watch it 19 times, I, I won't notice. And if I watch it 21 times, I'll forget. So 20th time for me. Well, like you did say, it was an Italian production. It so. was Italian. Some Italian man is in that film and he does not even know. All right, well, movies, horror movies. You are a huge fan of horror movies. I go to the movies constantly to so see them. So what is Everything. like the coolest new film you've seen? It was awesome. The second part was it really was, good. Which was it, awesome. This, it. It was awesome. It was awesome. What was it? Stephen King's It. Oh, we could go on about, is this, who's on first? The and, movie uh, is, I The knew. movie, I you knew. knew. So you knew. It's, not, it's not Tim Curry anymore, right? No, it's actually another guy who's really, he looks awesome. And, and they did it really well. And I'm a monster movie guy. Right. I, I like horror movies. I, 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 I think to me as monsters, and there's a lot of different monsters in this, a lot of different scares. In it. As and opposed to the last. Yes, yes, it was just Pennywise in the last one. They right. were using more creatures and uh, simulated images, you know, because he's trying to get into their head and he right. used more creatures. And I... I really liked it. And at the end, they kind of put Pennywise on a spider thing, and people know and it's Spooky. very sickening. I have to get Miss Vicky to get me a bobblehead of that. Oh, that'd be a nice bobblehead. It's a spider with Pennywise's Penny's head. Right, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So I did not see the prior one, which I you suppose was a it, yeah. remake of the Tim Curry yes, yes, version. Yes. So, same actor. Uh, same actor as Pennywise, but they were children in the first one. This is now 27 years later, so they've all grown up. Oh. And Pennywise has come back. And right. he's actually come back. They call themselves the Losers, the little club that they've created. And he's come back, and he basically wants to get revenge on the Losers for putting him does. to rest 27 years earlier. Oh. So there's a lot that goes on. It's actually a very long movie, but... I was riveted the whole time. Loved it. All right, I'm going to have to check that one out. What other ones have you seen lately that are good? Uh, scary Stories That You Tell in the Dark, uh, Guillermo del Toro. And that was pretty oh, good. Oh, I like him. Yeah, he did. He's uh, quite talented. Yeah, he's very talented. Right. He does a lot of graphic novels. Right. And right. he actually did The Strain that was on uh, FX a few years ago. It was kind of a hybrid vampire thing. It was really good. But... Um, this new one, is it like an anthology of different No, it's, ac it's, it's actually the scary stories are the whole story. It's about a book of all these scary stories. And if you happen to open the page and read them, they come true. This sounds familiar. Wasn't there like a children's show or movie or something before? Is this like the first time? I think this is the first time right. for this. Right. And, and actually really done really well and so I, I i liked it a lot i thought that they was it had a lot of good scares two a lot of recommendations good from zetro definitely right right all right speaking of recommendations from zetro let's get back to the last man on earth it gets spookier right it does i know i've seen it 20 times stay with us Feeling better? Yes. Would you like a cup of coffee? 
Thank you. You seem very well organized here. Yeah. My name is Ruth Collins. I was married. I lost my husband. You are alone. You were married. Yes. Children. My daughter. What are you doing? Please stop, please. Stop it, please. You're making me sick. Why do you turn please. away? Please. Why do you turn away? <coughs> you are infected. No. Infected systems are allergic to garlic. You think I'm one of them? You will be. You've made up your mind just because I... You can't change the facts by talking. Facts? What facts? That I got sick? I've had a sensitive stomach all my life. I saw my husband killed, torn to pieces right in front of our house. I've been wandering ever since, hiding at night, not eating more than scraps, sick with mourning, sick with fear, unable to sleep. And you shout at me. You chased me across a field, hit me, dragged me to this house. And to top it all, when I get sick because you shove a piece of reeking garlic in my face, you tell me I'm infected. Where are Let you going? Go. You can't go out there. It's almost sunset. Let me go, You can't I said. go out there. Now, in a few I minutes, the streets will be full of. Let me go. At I least, don't let care. me give you a blood test. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You must be hungry. I'll fix you some dinner. Should eat. I can't. You seem used to them. Oh, as much as anybody could be. I'm not frightened of them anymore, if that's what you mean. Oh, I protect myself against them, but only because there's so many. Individually, they're weak, mentally incompetent, like animals after a long famine. If they weren't, they surely would have found a way of breaking in here a long time ago. Come out, Morgan! Hear that? That's Ben Cortman. He was my friend. Your friend? He was like a kid brother. If I could find him and destroy him, but you said he was your friend. When I find him, I'll drive a stake through him, just like all the others. But you lived through all this. Do you know why? Perhaps I was chosen. Hmm. That's a laugh. Well, perhaps it's because a long time ago, when I worked in Panama, I was bitten in my sleep by a bat. My theory is that the, the bat had previously acquired the vampire germ. 
By the time it entered my blood, it had been strained and weakened by the bat system. As a result, I have immunity. Well, it's only a guess, but it's all I have to go on. You don't think that I'm immune, do you? It's a simple matter to find out whether you are or not. What will you do if I am infected? Cure me? You don't have to answer. I know as well as you do. It's incurable. There might be a way. If not of killing the germ, at least of containing it, keeping it from spreading. If I had the equipment, the time. But you don't. Injection, I'll be one again. What do you mean? You found a solution? That's right. Exactly as you said it could be. I take that for it. What is it? Defibrinated blood plus vaccine. The blood feeds the germ. The vaccine keeps it isolated and prevents it from multiplying. We've had it for some time now. We? We? There are quite a number of us. And I thought you were alone. I was going to cure you. Does that amuse you? No. Now, I want the truth. I want all of it. Why are you here? To find out if you know any more than we do. You know, far less. We're alive. Infected, yes, but alive. We're going to reorganize society. Do away with all those wretched creatures who are neither alive nor dead. Start everything all over again. And you want me to join? You can't join us. You're a monster to them. Why do you think I ran when I saw you? even though I was assigned to spy on you, because I was so terrified of what I'd heard about you. You're a legend in the city, moving by day instead of night, leaving as evidence of your existence bloodless corpses. Many of the people you destroyed were still alive. Many of them were loved ones of the people in my group. I didn't know. Is there any way you can get out of here? What do you mean? They're coming after you tonight. That's why I was sent here, to prevent you from resisting them. I'm supposed to keep you here until they come. To kill me? Yes. Your new society sounds charming. The beginning of any society is never charming or gentle. And you pretended to be shocked at my violence. Well, what are you waiting for? Why don't you go on and use it? Get it over with. Use it. Get it over with. <laughs> now you know. What are you going to do? <laughs>
This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Hair styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. Hey, this is Jake Busey. You might remember me from Starship Troopers when I was a kid, The Predator, uh, and Ghost in the Graveyard this year, or of course, Bruce from Stranger Things. Your favorite guy. You know it. So look, I'll be here on Creature Features to chat with Vince Tangella and the suave Mr. Livingston about my favorite horror films, and I hope y'all will join us. Are you sure you really want to be on this show? Well, sure, why not? Never mind. you doing? It's already done. What? Look. Look. You see, it worked, Ruth. The antibodies in my blood worked. My blood has saved you, Ruth. Do you know what this means? You and I can save all the others. We won't be alone. We'll never be alone again. You are sure? Wait. Don't be afraid. Where are you going? I've got to get out of here. Tell them you're not a threat to us. You can't go out there. You, can you wouldn't get us. ten feet. When they come here, there won't be time for questions and answers. They'll come to kill. For God's sake, Robert, let me go. Oh, Robert, please. Ruth, look. Tomorrow. Please. Oh, Robert. Tomorrow, Ruth. Tomorrow will no. be all right. Robert, no. Yes, Ruth. But if this doesn't last... But it will. I've already checked it under the microscope. 
Wait, I'll show you. I'll prove it to you. I'll check it again. Take a look at this. This will prove it to you. Ruth, there's no change. I've double checked.
Don't cry. There's nothing to cry about. We're all safe now. All safe. up the last man on earth he's not really the last man right i mean there, there's other people well they found a cure so quite possibly all right it'll that happen makes sense. more yeah I, I think i have to watch this movie 21 times before i understand it where's Trangella? she's in her laboratory doing something for zetra i thought you were going to take the chemicals away she got there before i could arrive all right you're gonna have to keep an eye on that well, uh, so you like the film, right? I love the You've film. You've seen it before. I'll see it again. I know You've myself. You've got a Creature Features hat. Yes. Look at this. He's it's got cool. a real Creature Features hat. We're going to be offering those soon. <clears throat> not quite yet. We're not quite sure how we're going to handle this. Because, you know, they're not going to be a big seller, we think. It's I'm a hat. negotiating with It says Creature Features. And, you, and we're in our Creature Features shirt, which is, we call that the Night of the Living Dead shirt. Because it's got Night of the Living Dead. It's right? my favorite one. It's, it's nice. It's got like a nice, it looks like lavender. And the, yeah, the color, that's what I love. It's black you know, and that I, I bet I bet all, all the, 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 the girls on tour like it. What do they call them? Groupies? Yeah. No. Oh, no. Right. So. A little old for that. We're not going to talk about that, are we? All right. So uh, what are you doing next? Well, I'm actually going in late October to Lebanon, Lebanon. Dubai. Kyrgyzstan. Not Lebanon, New Jersey. No, Lebanon, Beirut. Beirut, Lebanon. So that's like the Middle East. Yes, it is. That's a, it could be frightening. Yeah, it could be. No? Oh, it's you, an adventure, it's right? It's a metal band. It's adventure. You got to love the adventure. You know, if you were like, you know, Barry White or Neil Stocker or something like that, you'd be frightened. But he's a metal band. People run from them, right? Most of the time. Most of the time. So where else are you going? Uh, Sofia, Bulgaria, Moscow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now, you are not doing this as Exodus, though. No, this is a band called Hail, and what it is is we're going to do like 19 cover songs, and it's along with Chris Adler from Lamb of God, James Lomenzo from Ozzy, now, who now plays with John Fogarty, and Phil Demel from a band called Violence. So this is, this is like a super high-end cover band. Yeah, kind of all-star cover band, exactly. And do you like rehearse first? Or? We have not done that. We actually have a day off the day before in, a, in Bahrain to actually rehearse for the show. I've oh been given a list of songs. One to day. Learn. One day. Well, you're all professionals. That's it's like right. we could give you the sheet music. That's right. And you could be like, oh, all right, I got it. And just do it. And you know the music and you listen to it on your... It's, again, it's covers. It's everything from 
Metallica, Pantera, Black Sabbath, Ozzy, Megadeth, stuff like that. Actually, oh, got Exodus song in there mm -hmm. as well. So, all right. Well, if I could get out of this gig for a minute, maybe I'll come drop in on oh, one of those cities. You're welcome anytime, man. Fun. I, I, you know, it's been a long time since I've been to Europe. Ever since I started the show. There's a reason for that. No, actually, I went to Paris once. I needed new shoes. All right, well, that's all wonderful stuff. And then you've got the, the Zetro's Toxic Vault going. You've got Exodus. You've got all kinds of things you're putting your hand to. You're, you're just like a busy guy. He's busier than I am. Well, I did your theme song, remember? Oh, that's right. He did the theme song. Give us a sample. Proof. When you feature that awful creature. See? When you feature that ugly creature. So one thing most people don't know is this actually the full version of that song. What we play at the beginning is like 60 Just, seconds. Yeah, it's, it's like not a two, three-minute song, right? Yeah, it is. It is. So we're going to be doing, you've not been told this yet, we're going to put together a Creature Feature album soon that's got that song, full length, short version, and all the other music you hear on our show. He's going to help put it together because right. he knows the technology to build. What are we going to do, CDs? Or do we put them on DVDs? I think we're going to do them in electronic oh. files. Let's see. It's a good thing he knows his stuff, because I don't. All right, Zetro. Well, it was fantastic having you here. I hope you have fun with that cigar and uh, that In the souvenir. glass case. In, In the, the glass, glass case. case. No, it's wonderful. And now my new favorite hat. Wonderful. Well, next time you're in town here, you got to come see us again. Always and next well. time I'm in your town, I'm going to come see you as well, because you've got a good cook over there. She's a good cook, huh? It's very good. All right. Thank you again. So uh, as far as you guys go, thank you so much for watching the show. You know, when you watch a horror film with friends, it becomes a comedy and it makes it so much fun, doesn't it? We'll see you next week. Different guests, different movie. I have no idea who, but it will be fun. Have a wonderful evening. So, uh, et cetera. The Toxic Vault. It's an interview show. I mean, you've had some famous musicians on there. When are you gonna have me? Mm. I don't know. Most of the musicians are talented.